in the absence of apoptosis triggers an inactive monomeric apaf1 is present in the cytosol of a mammalian cell with a bound d atp the intermembrane space of mitochondrion has cytochrome c when apoptotic stimulus arrives the cytochrome c's are released from the mitochondrion to the cytosol of the cell the released cytochrome c then binds to the cytosolic inactive monomeric apaf1 this binding leads to the bound d atp hydrolysis this hydrolysis produces a d adp the binding of cytochrome c to inactive monomeric apaf1 also creates a conformational change in it another d atp then replaces the bound d adp this replacement induces the apaf1 and cytochrome c complex to aggregate every monomeric apaf1 has a card domain card stands for caspase recruitment domain this card domain will be exposed in the central hub of wheel of death which we will see later now we will focus on aggregation of apaf1 and cytochrome c complexes after aggregation a complex is formed called as apoptosome the apoptosome is a heptamer having seven subunits the molecular weight of an apoptosome is about 1.4 megadalton the other name of apoptosome is wheel of death the card domains of apaf1 are exposed in the central hub of wheel of death the shape of apoptosome is like a disc the apoptosome then interacts with the cytosolic procaspase 9 the procaspase 9 is a initiator procaspase the procaspase 9 also has a card domain the card domain helps the procaspase 9 to recruit itself to the apoptosome now let us see how the inactive procaspase 9 molecules are recruited to the apoptosome after the procaspase 9 recruitment the complex will look like this some scientists called this complex as apoptosome which contains procaspase 9 molecules within the apoptosome each inactive procaspase 9 molecule undergoes autoclavage and dimerization to produce caspase 9 the caspase 9 is the active form the active caspase 9 then activates pro caspase 3 pro caspase 3 is an executioner pro caspase this pro caspase 3 activation leads to a caspase cascade due to the caspase cascade apoptosis occurs inhibitor of apoptosis proteins or iaps also binds to the apoptosome the exact actions of iaps are not understood 
Now let us discuss about more detailed structure of inactive monomeric APAF1. This is an inactive monomeric APAF1. APAF1 stands for apoptotic protease activating factor 1. If we will look into its more detailed structure, then we will find three different domains. The first domain is called as the card domain. The second domain is called as the CD4. The DATP is generally present in an bounded state to this CD4 domain. The third domain contains some WD40 repeats. The cytochrome C released from mitochondrion generally binds to the third domain. Now the causes of intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. Intracellular signals like DNA damage, biochemical stress, ROS generation, oncogenic stress, virus attack, lack of growth factors can cause the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. Please like, subscribe and share.